Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today we'll write a program to check enter date is valid or not. So without talking much, let's begin with the program. So to check whether given date is valid or not, we need date first, right? So we need to ask the user to enter the date. We can take the user input in different ways. One way is we can ask the user to enter the day, month, year separately like this so we'll take the input function to take input and we'll ask the user to enter day and we'll store that in day variable we'll ask the user to enter month and we'll store that in the month variable We'll ask the user to enter year and we'll store that in the year variable. And here we want integer day, month and year. But in Python 3 by default, it will take string input. That's why I used int function here to convert the string input to integer input. Okay. So this is the one way to take the input. Or you can ask the user to enter the date in particular format. Then you can split that date into day, month, year. That is in this format, you can ask the user to enter the date in this format ddmmyyyy format. So we need string input here first because we want to split that, right? That's why I'll take the string input. Here this input function by default take the input as string. So when I enter a date, it will treat that as a string and it will store that in variable date. Next, I'll use split function and I'll split that date and I'll store day, month, year in this variable. Because we took the string input from the user, we need to convert that to integer. That's why here I used int function. So int day, int month, int year. This will convert the day, month, year to integer form and it will store that in the variable day, month, year. So you can take input in this way also. All right, so we are done with the input. Next, different months contains different number of days. For example, January contains 31 days. February is the special case. It contains 28 days in common year. In the leap year, it contains 29 days. March contains 31 days. April contains 30 days. That is nothing but few months contains 31 days. Few months contains 30 days. And February is the special case which contains 29 days in the leap year, 28 days in the common year. So we need to consider all these condition. So month with 31 days, month with 30 days and of course February with 28 days in common year, 29 days in leap year. These are the maximum days in these months, right? Few months contains 31 days as the maximum days. Few months contains 30 days as maximum days. February contains 28 or 29 days as the maximum days. So first we need to find out the maximum days. So for this we'll take if elif condition. We will find out the maximum days in different months. So first I'll take the month which contains 31 days. So one so that is nothing but January or not February. March contains 31 days. Next, 5. Seven. Month 7 contains 31 days. Month 8 contains 31 days. That is July and August both contains 31 days. Here I took January as 1, February as 2. March as 3, April as 4. So here 10, 12. December contains 31 days. Okay. So here you need to write like this and maximum days in this month is 31. If entered month is 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 8 or 10 or 12, then maximum days is 31. Here maximum days is a variable. If any one of this condition become true, then number of days in that month is 31. Next, we need to write the month which contains 30 days. 
so i'll take elif condition month four or month six or month nine or month 11 that is november contains 30 days so here i used logical or operator that is nothing but if any one of this condition is true it will print the if body elif body okay so if month is 1 3 5 7 8 10 12 if the entered month matches any one of this condition then maximum days is 31 if not, it will check the elif condition. If month is 4, 6, 9, 11, any one of this, then it will take maximum days as 30. We wrote the condition for all month except February. February contains 28 days in the common year, 29 days in the leap year. So that is nothing but first I need to check whether it is a leap year or not. For this, I need to write the condition whether year is divisible by 4 is equal to equal to 0 and should not be a century year that is nothing but when the given year is not the century year then if the year is divisible by 4 that means that year is a leap year or if year is divisible by 400 if it is completely divisible by 400 that means that year is leap year in the previous tutorial we discussed about this leap year program i will give you the link of that in the description box you can go and check that if it is true then maximum number of days in that month is 29 else max days is 28 okay so first we wrote the condition for the months which contains 31 days next these are the months contains 30 days next we wrote the condition to check for the leap year if the year is leap year then the maximum days is 29 else maximum days is 28 here in these two conditions, we wrote the condition for all months except February. So we wrote the condition for February here. So we are done with the maximum days. Now we know maximum number of days in entered month. Next, we need to write the condition to check valid date and invalid date. So for that also I'll take the if elif condition. If month is uh, less than 1 or if month is greater than 12 if you enter a month which is less than 1 or greater than 12 then that date is invalid right the entered date is invalid you can include another message also like check the range of month okay the range of month should be between 1 and 12, right? Elif. If that condition is not satisfied, then the control goes to the elif condition. And I'll check whether day is less than 1 or day is greater than the maximum days. So we checked for the maximum days here, right? Based on entered month, we will find out the maximum number of days in that month. Next, we need to check this condition entered day should be in the range 1 to maximum days it should not break that range if you enter day as 0 or 33 that is not valid right so you need to print invalid date or you can print same message and you can check the range of day okay day is out of range you can print any message else if both this condition falls then that means enter date is valid here we are not restricting the year we are not writing the condition for year if you want you can enter here after elif you can write another elif condition and you can write year should be between in this range okay so now we are done with this program so if i execute this program save and execute so first we'll write a valid date okay so i'll write 30 10 month as 10 and 2019 30 october 2019 entered date is valid if i enter 33 okay day as month as 4 
year as 2019. Entered date is invalid. Check the range of day. Day range is invalid. Next, if I enter month as uh, 13, check the range of month. Okay, date is invalid. Enter day. So if I enter 29, it is for a leap year, month 2. I'll enter a leap year that is 2000. Date is valid because 2000 is a leap year and it contains 29 days in the February month. Next, if I write 29 to 1999, it is not a leap year. Enter date is invalid. Check the range of day. Because this year is not a leap year. So Feb February month doesn't contain 29 days. Okay, so in this way, you can check the range. And as I said, if you want to write the condition for uh, year, you can write it here. Like you can write elif year which is less than 1900 and greater than 2019 is invalid. You can take any condition like that. Okay, so when I enter 23-3-2020, it is invalid because we entered year as 2020 and here I took if the year is greater than 2019 then print invalid that's why it will print invalid you can restrict the year also like this okay so this is about the program to check whether enter date is valid or not so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will meet you in next class till then take care